Just want to go over some of the other things that are on this opening uh, dialog. This provides you with all of um, pretty much the different windows that you can open as labeled down here, as well as a few other extras which pop up in this window. We just go through them one by one. Uh, options provide you with uh, you know, loading show files and importing settings, as well as access to the system properties. Generally, you shouldn't have to play with this stuff um, in here, uh, but that's where it is if, if we're doing a tutorial, for example. Uh, channel display brings up the dialog that shows you uh, the channels that you have um, set up. Channel groups is a function that we've um, where we've this <coughs> gives us like a, a rundown of all of the groups that we've made. So here are all our looks that we've built, and at any time we can come in here and select that and mouse up to see see a look. Uh, basically, this is just a way of being able to go through and if we need to change values of things that we have built. Following that, we have the queue list editor, which is um, something that's more used in theatre scenarios when you run from one queue through to the next in a set order. There's also the effects editor, which is where you have the ability to uh, create chases and uh, colour scrolls, etc. Um, this is a bit more of an advanced feature, which we'll talk about another time. Then there's palettes, which is something that's more used for uh, using intelligent lighting such as movers, so we won't really be dealing with that. And then dimmer patching. This is where we have already set up um, how all of the lights are set up. This is not something that you'll need to, to work with, uh, but just so you are aware, it shows you that here we have dimmers 1 through 12, patched through 1 to 12, and then here are our 8 LEDs all addressed to the various DMX values. This is where we come when we need to install new or extra lights, should we need to. Following that, we have queue playbacks, which is uh, blank at the moment because we haven't got any queue lists set up. This is the playback screen for the queue list editor we talked about before. So that's more of a queue to queue uh, theater style scenario. In extras, we have a range of things that we can go to. Uh, things of note will be your shortcuts window, the submaster window, and potentially the raw DMX view. Other than that, everything else I imagine you will leave as is. We can also access the shortcuts in the submaster windows by the buttons on the dialog here, shortcuts and submasters. Submasters provides us with a bank of faders that we can assign. At this point in time, we have a fader set for our various looks, which is also done as a shortcut. When everything is set up the way we want it, these will be to control various values such as brightness for banks of lamps, overall brightness for the entire rig, fade times and chase rates, strobe rates, etc. These will all be mapped to a device that you can use in a hands-on scenario. So generally, you won't need to come here because we will have a physical device that you can manipulate. Other than that, we have a submaster page which just basically lets us scroll through all of the different pages because there are a significant amount of faders available inside the system. Shortcuts opens up the dialog that gives us all of our different looks that we have created or any value which is going to be selected as a basic on-off such as our various looks or potentially blinders, strobes or bursts of smoke if we were to go so extreme. Likewise, we have a page because there are multiple pages. And then following that, we have a master fade time. If we select this up to a value, this is in seconds, say one second, any change that we make to either a look or a fader position will then happen over a one second value. This can be set to anything up to 10 seconds and manipulates every change across the board. Uh, in the future we hope to have a device that then has this actually with a hands-on control but in the meantime this is how you manipulate fade times for smooth transitions between looks. The other fu function that we have is up here on the right hand side and it's the Grand Master. Much like an audio console which has a master fader, this is the master fader for the entire lighting system. This is useful for example in a live scenario where we have a look that we think is just right but, for example, it's too bright overall. We can use this to just draw back the lighting somewhat. Likewise, we could have it set very low for a pre-show look. Or we can click the DBO button, which stands for Dead Blackout, 
and everything goes to black for blackouts at the end of numbers or alternatively to bring the lights back up in a snap for the start of numbers. Uh, ultimately this would also be patched to a physical fader but at this point in time this is how you manipulate it. And that's pretty much an overview of what you need to know for Light Factory. Hey! <laughs>